Welcome to the ERA Europe Business Talk of the Week. Featuring leading personalities of the international multi-channel home shopping industry from all over the world. Our guest today, Alexander Chacon. I'm Alexander Chacon, president of European Home Shopping, which is one of the main DRTV companies in the world. We're 22 years old and we're based in Madrid, Spain. We've been attending the ERA Europe conference since its inception. It is the main association in the world regarding this industry. And uh, we're meeting companies from all around the world, from Japan to, to Chile to, to Lithuania, from Russia. Um, they're all here. We're doing a number of things here. One of them is we're um, uh, looking at trends, worldwide trends, uh, retail trends, what's happening in the digital space. We're looking for products. We're also trading. We've developed a, a number of products. We come here to trade. We're also meeting with friends and enjoying this beautiful environment. We're dealing with different consumers in many markets because there's uh, different ethnicities, different cultural preferences. For example, in cooking and kitchen, we might have different, different types of products. But on the other hand, everybody wants to be fit, everybody wants to live well. So there are a lot of products that do actually transcend the different markets and different cultures. And that's the favorite things that we look for in this industry, developing great products at good prices that, that the world would love. That actually gives us a lot of great pleasure and also is a very profitable business. The business is definitely changing. Uh, I was speaking to some colleagues from the United States and they were telling me the business is changing uh, tremendously there because the customs of, of viewing television is changing. People are now doing a lot of on-demand. Business is definitely changing in Europe. That's going to happen as well. But the essence, I think, is the same. We're still looking and creating great products that we're offering to consumers on multiple platforms, which is television principally in, in the past. It's now going to digital and, and internet, it's in retail space. The world is also becoming smaller, so products that we may be developing now will be in the Japanese market in six months and will be in the American market as well and in the Russian market. So it's a fun, fast-paced uh, industry. A lot of our American colleagues are constantly asking us for what are the hits here in Europe because they are desperately looking for great items. And obviously we create a lot of great items here in Europe. What's happened in the past, I think, is that the Europeans have not taken full advantage of um, selling, penetrating to the American market. And, uh, but that's, that's also changing. There's a lot of great products that are actually coming from Europe that are number one items in the United States and vice versa. I don't see that dependence on the American market. In the past, they used to say that the only infomercials that would work were American produced. And that's, that's not true. That's not true. Keywords are basic to be here if you're in the, in the industry. There's a lot of information here just from speaking to, to uh, colleagues around the world and, um, and optimism. In order to take advantage of an uh, international network that would permit you to take a product from inception to massive distribution around the world within a year, I don't know any other industry that would allow you to do that. And that's why I would advise somebody to become a member of ERA. Next on the ERA Europe Business Talk of the Week, Isabel Fournier. I've been in the TV industry for a long time and we have to face new challenges. It's important more than ever to protect your brands and your innovation. Thanks for watching and see you at the Barcelona Conference.